Good night, everybody. <laughs> Hello. Welcome to the jungle one more time. And sorry, welcome to class. <laughs> How are you, Janet? How are you, Danny? How are you, Anita? How are you, Loida? How's everything going Hello. so far? Is it good? Hi, teacher. Ooh, hi. How are you? Pretty good. You know what? I was singing. <laughs> well, pretending. <laughs> yeah. I was pretending, right? Pretending. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because like Janet, I love to sing as well. Well, I love to like, <laughs> yeah, of course, to shit myself, right? <laughs> Pretend that I'm a good singer, but I'm not. <laughs> well, <laughs> you know what? And I was, and I was singing, and I was singing one of your, um, your mama's son, Janet, is with me, his son. Ugh. Okay. Well, I, at least I was trying. <laughs> You know what? Every time, for example, that, uh, well, I used to do that when I was uh, working in the, in the site, when I go to the, um, to my work, especially I used to work in a call center a long time. So I used to work with um, English and French. So for my mind to get used to it, there's a, like an exercise that I do, that I do for myself every time. Uh, I try to like before I start on my work to listen to um, English songs or French songs, whatever. So my my brain is going to be is starting like a warm up, you know, Loida, like a warm up, right? Okay. So you're gonna be your muscle will be ready, right? But in this case, my brain is going to be ready for the class. So before I start the English class, I start like listening a song in English. Doesn't matter, you know what? Sometimes you want to listen, hey, I want to listen romantic, okay? Sometimes you feel like you want to listen pop, right? Okay, so listen pop. Sometimes you want to listen like 80s, okay? Listen 80s. Sometimes you- but Only listen and singing too. Of course, and singing too. If you want to, if you have and courage. Dancing. Yeah, and then, and if nobody's around, <laughs> you can sing, right? Yeah, and uh, well, so it depends how you feel. Sometimes I want to listen Bon Jovi, for example, and or Scorpion, or I don't know, or maybe um, like today's song, right? Like it's really interesting song. I think it was like it's not Metallica. What is the name of that of the rhythm here? Uh, okay, uh, what's the what's that what's the what's the type of music or kind of music that the guys listen nowadays, Janet? Like the the John people. Uh, I, I like to to when uh, well, K-pop is too too popular. Really, I like the. I, I always like, I like yeah, <laughs> K-pop. Oh, you K because Korean pop, right? Yes. Yeah. You know what? I was I was listening on all the John people's K-pop K-pop. What's that? And I was like, what's that? And I was searching, you know what? And then I found, oh, K-pop, that is K pop for Korea. Ah, now I get it. It's like K for a killer, right? But it's like the abbreviation. All righty. Oh, but yes. there's an, another type of like, um, like marshmallow and kind of things like that. What kind of music is yes. that? Yes, I will. What kind of music? Is it, there's a name, right? For that type of music, yes, I don't know. Um, is pop Korean? No, but marshmallow. No marshmallow. No, no. maybe marshmallow no. is the name of uh, of the of the, oh, the of, of, a, of a DJ, of right? Song. Yeah, so, yeah. But the but the rhythm. The, uh -huh. What kind of music is? Ew. This is um, electronic. electronic. Electronic, yeah. But you know what? Electronic, like uh, really brand new, because like from the eighties, no, for the nineties. We used to uh, start listening the what kind of electronic is a totally different one for nowadays, but I like it. I like it. Also, I like, like it too. yeah, also like what's the name that Jean Paul, uh, Dua Lipa. What is the other one that I'm listening? Dua Lipa. To? Yeah, um, uh, Clean Bandit, you know, like the Rockabye. Excellent. Yeah, yeah Rockabye. <laughs> yeah, I like it. So, like, you know what? I'm a, I'm a teacher like also try uh, because I'm a I'm a journalist so I need to be in the same space for everybody right so I'm a person that loves to learn and about I, different I like, things I like the, the electronic but the old school the old school oh me too of course me too because I need to have a lot of topics uh, for different topics that I can talk with many kind of people 
young people, old people. So, and for as well as a teachers, we're in constant in learning, right? Because we need to like transmit our knowledge to you as well. And also I we need you. to use the technology to also to teach you the best way. Okay, so you know what guys, I'm gonna search for information and for music and I will send you the links, okay? The type of, the type of music that I want you to hear. But uh, it will be a really special link because basically it is, it, I th sometimes maybe it's gonna be a little bit bored at the beginning because it will help you like read paragraph by paragraph, okay? Maybe one time, yeah, one time you're gonna read the paragraph three times. And after three times, you go to the second paragraph and so on. But it will help you with the pronunciation. Uh, I will start, you know what, with the Beatles, okay? I will send you a Beatles song. I know it's like, yeah, it's really nice because the pronunciation is very clear. That's what I love from them. So it's one of the nice groups that you can also use to teach. And then sometimes maybe I will select Adele's. Maybe I will select, I don't know, maybe uh, Freddie Mercury for Ropsy by Bohemia. I don't know. I will try to pick romantic, maybe Jenny, right? Maybe Jenny, yeah, of course. Maybe One romantic. Uh-huh. I don't know. I'm going to like to keep on. And then at the last one, I will send you a hard one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a hard one yes it's not it's not for you to sit in front of the class don't worry it's just for you to practice okay it's practice the pronunciation the intonation and the speedness okay okay awesome so today for this weekend is going to be the first time okay okay oh my god okay. sas is here i don't know i was supposed i already have closed the door but since Sass is a little one, right? And she can enter in a space like this. I don't know how she does it. Maybe she's like, <laughs> and then she came in. That could be. But right now she's on my bed. She's fit. I Yes, I think so. But you know what? <laughs> she has, she just still has a little bit belly because uh, <laughs> uh, she's like two months, next month. No, no, next, I think next Monday, I will give her that second pill for the animals inside her tummy. So she's going to be good. Oh, but she's beautiful. She, uh, she has more hair than when she came. <laughs> yeah, I love her. My husband does as well. You know what? And she started making massages. Yeah, and my, now- My cat too. Your cat too? And now Chestnut and Sassy, they are really good, good friends. They click, they make a click already. Nice. Yes, it's nice. Maybe uh, later night I will send you a picture of the two of them together, okay. right? Laying on, okay. laying on the on the floor. All right, okay. guys. Get, hey, we're waiting. Let me check. We have Anita Romero, Kevin Jose, Esmeralda, and Mr. Boris and Stephanie Ramirez. Woohoo! Oh my goodness, we had a lot of people. We have ten already. Yeah, that's the spirit. I, somebody said, are we going to have free on Friday? No way. No, no way. <laughs> Actually, guys, this week, the next week, I think it's going to be for the first three weeks. Okay. The last week, I'm not sure about that. I think we, 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 let me check. We, 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 yeah, it will be like in Monday. Monday, I think was going to end. Yeah. Monday. Monday, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. But right now, Yes, so I'll, you will have me and I will have you for Monday to Friday. How is that? Hey, right? Cool. Okay. Okay, guys. Now that we're gonna do something. We're start. We're going to start a class because I know that there's no homework. Finally, right? Uh huh. For a reason. Thanks God, right, Janet? <laughs> All right. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna start with Kahoot today, for a reason. Okay. Don't worry. It is like an introduction to today's topic. But, and, and I promise you guys that when we finish, we're going to play Kahoo again. Actually, we're going to play the same Kahoo. Okay. And then maybe you will have a better score. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, Jenny, are you able to play, right? You can play it. Yes. Yes. Okay. Also, Janet. Also, Eu. Loida, you were, you were not in class yesterday, right? Oh, no, no, but okay. I, I, I what? saw the video. I just saw the video. Okay. So do you have two devices by any chance? Yes. Okay. Because that's what we'll need to do. You're going to use two. One, you're going to answer once you log in 
And the other one, uh, when you, but you're not gonna see the, the answers, only if you watch my screen, okay? Uh, okay. Let me check Esmeralda's here, Beatriz Ramirez, yeah, Boris, hi, how are you? All right. Is hello, every, hello. hello, is everybody in the WhatsApp? Yep. Yes. Okay, cool. So let me send you the, the website, the web page once again, and then I will send you the link. Don't worry, okay? <laughs> let me check. Okay, I'm gonna send it to you once again. Okay, the page is ready. Now let me open. Hey, Kiri, you're king on time. We're about to play Kahoo right now. You just came on time. All righty. Let me play this. I will I will send you the, the pin in a couple of minutes. Okay, let me just one moment, guys. Okay, the pin number is 996-1783. Let me repeat it, 996-1783. Got it? Got it. Cool. Ah, no, 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 no me deja. Okay, what? Okay, 996-1763. No, 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 no. Let me check. Let me give it to you. No, 996-1783. Oh. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome, thank you. Let me check who I have here. I have Annie, Jenny, Eu, Kiri, Janice, Meralda, Steffi, Loira. Yeah, I'm missing two more. No, one more because with me, Arjun. No, yes, we're, I'm missing two. Boris, are you here? Already? On the, yeah? Yes, I am. Uh, where are you? No, I mean, in the game. Are you in the game already? I cannot see you. Have you logged in in the game, Boris? Not yet. Not yet. Okay, we're waiting for you. Okay. Okay, we're waiting for Boris. I have Loida, Eu, Jenny, Boris. Okay, we're not. Are we ready. missing? Yeah. I'm ready. Yes, I can see you. All right. Are we missing somebody else? No. Anita is not here, right? Stephanie Ramirez, are you there? I think so. Okay, guys, let's play. Hopefully you're ready. Okay. Okay, let's change the rhythm, okay? Let's change the type of music. Let's put some disco. Now, right? What about 80s? There you go. That's the one. Okay, guys, let's start. Go ahead. Use the simple pass two. Check my screen and then you answer to your device. Oh. I can't read it. Why? I don't know. Oh, oh my God. Who said that actions that start in the past and continues in the present? That is present perfect. Yes, I, exactly. The answer is the yellow one. Okay. So what I'm going to do, girls, is I'm going to take a screenshot for the one that is that they are not able to it. And I'm going to send it to you as soon as possible. Okay, so you can answer. Carrie, you're on the top. Then we have Jenny and Boris. Woo, way to go, guys. Okay. Yes, thank you, Steffi. The next one, true or false? Regarding simple pass with B, you, we use was for he, she, it. Yes or no? Okay, I send it to you guys so you can answer. Okay, yes, very good, excellent. Boris, way to go. Carrie and Jenny, oh my God, you need to fight for this place, okay, guys? <laughs> very good. Quiz, answer the following question When were you born? 
send you the I send you the my screen guys. When were you born? When that means time, okay? No place. Oh my god, who said I was born in China? I'm asking when the time, no where, the place. So the answer is exactly the green one. Kerry was the first one to answer. Woo! And you're at the top. Way to go, girl. Way to go. Let her go. Okay. Quiz. What did you do yesterday night? Take a look at the picture and then you answer. Yeah, we had two possibilities. Uh, let me ask you guys, why the yellow is wrong? There's somebody who the answered yellow. The uh -huh. fierce. Yes, that is one of the reasons, but there is another reason. What is missing there? Uh-huh. What is missing there? A period. Exactly. Exactly, guys. So because of that, it's wrong. Okay. The, the, the exactly answer is basically the blue one, guys. But also if you click on the green one, it's okay as well. But it's a second option. Carrie, woo, and Boris, and Jenny. You're rocking, Jenny. Very good. Okay, let's double check. Let's continue, guys. Look at the image. Were you were you at the park yesterday? Yes, I was. Period. I had a picnic with my family. Yes, very good. Or the second option, yes, we were. We spent all the afternoon on family picnic. Very good, guys. Excellent. Hey, who said number one? Yes, I were and I was really fun. Come on. Ew, very good. But Katie, you're still on the top. We to go, girl. On a WS questions, intonation goes up, yes or no? Be careful, we have been talking about this so much. You, are, you, you need to have, to have a grade, okay? Now that will kill you. <laughs> oh my God, who says true? No way. Uh, remember, WS question, the intonation goes down. All right. Jenny, bye, buddies. <laughs> True or false? On a just no question, the intonation goes up. Yes or no, guys? I'm missing one answer. Very good. Who says false? Come on. Janet, way to go. Jenny, woohoo. Hey, Carrie's still on the top. What is the difference between just no and WH question, guys? What's the difference? Very good. I who said that there is no difference? Come on. <laughs> Bodies, way to go. Carrie, watch out. Number nine. Put the sentence in the correct order. Last Paris, Tom, week went to. So what is that right sentence, guys? Or that right sentence order?
Bravo. Oh my God, who said Tom last week went to Paris? Come on. Very good. Excellent. But the red one is not. The green, the yellow one is the right one. Very good. Ew, you're in the third place. Way to go, girl. The last question. Find the past tense of the following irregular verbs. Wake, get, have, eat, and go. The paths of them. Irregulars, guys. Oh my God, who says what could God had ate and went? No, all of them are, are irregular, so it cannot be wicked. What about the red one? What could get it had? No, wait. Mm -mm. Uh -uh. The yellow one is the right one. Okay, guys, way to go. In the third place, we have. Ew, way to go, girl. Second place, we have. Bodies. And the first place goes to. Way to go, girl! Yay! Excellent, Kerry. Congratulations. Good job, girl. Thank you, teacher. No, thank you. You rock. Okay. So, okay, guys. How was the game? Like cool, it? But Very funny. I can't. I. I was sending you pictures. Clear. Yeah, but. Confused. It was difficult <laughs> for me to be in the in the game I, and in the I in, know in what's up. And you know why <laughs> I do that? Why it, it is because guys also you need to learn how to be multitasking. Mm -hmm. So also that's why I, that's why I do it. Because there will be a job that you have to be like like a, a, like an octopus. Right? And to be in many things at the same time. You know what? As a woman, Janet, we can do it. For example, as a mom, you are cooking, right? You are watching the, the clothes and the washing machine. And then also you're helping the kids with the homework, for example. We're doing three things at the same time. So I, that's what I'm doing because uh, maybe all of the women have, and, and men, of course, Rano and Mr. Kevin and Maurice, we have the capacity, but we, but there's some times that there have not been developed and we have to develop. So don't feel bad, okay? Don't feel bad. It's part of the process. You will learn. And also guys, sometimes we're going to, I will try to, um, to ask you something about talking and everything, and I'm going to make a lot of noise, okay? Because also you have to learn how to concentrate. And because, for example, guys, it would be nice if every time that we have to speak English, that we have to work, or that we have to uh, do something, we we are in a, in a quiet place, right? That would be perfect. But you know that is not the, not the case. Right? It would be ideal if we, we will be quiet and nobody interrupt us. That would be amazing. But no. So we will need to try to develop and to concentrate on what we're doing. Doesn't matter what is happening around us. And that is something that you need to develop. For example, in a call center, it's like that. We, everybody is on the spot. But you don't, you cannot like, shh, hey, you know what? Shh, I'm on the phone. Like, can you zip it? You cannot tell that. And everybody's like talking around you in the air conditioner and everybody's walking like, oh my God. Yes. And sometimes you have to listen to the client. You have to type, you have to speak, you have to like find information. You have to do a lot of things at the same time. Is easy? No, it's not easy, but you can do it. What, what we have to do? Practice. Practice makes perfection. Okay. So don't worry. Oh my God, no, don't worry. Next time, you will do it better, okay? You will do it much better. Just keep on going, keep trying. And always, guys, always do your best. Do your best. Go an extra mile. And you can do it. I know you can do it. 
I told you, sometimes you will love me and sometimes you will hate me. <laughs> but I, I will always love you guys. I'm, I'm like that because I want you to like develop a lot of the skills. Because in English, they're not only for skills like listening, speaking, writing, reading. No, between them, there are more details about it. And you are doing it right now. So Janet, maybe at the end of this class, we're going to play that again. And, next, and this time you will do it more better, okay? Promise. So don't feel bad. Sassy is here, but I had to let you know that Sassy is already fall asleep. Oh my God, Sassy. Hey, why I'm, I'm giving you that uh, game, guys? Because guess what is gonna be today's topic? What is today's topic? Anybody has an idea? Music. Dance. Be, be, uh, besides music, Loida. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. It's a past tense. Simple past, actually. Don't worry. It's, as the name says, it's simple. Simple past. In English, we do not complicate it. At least the simple past, okay? Yes, so it's really simple. It's really easy, okay? Basically, when do we use the simple past, guys? Any ideas? Any ideas? Any ideas? One of the time, please don't. Everybody can participate. One of the time. Hold your horses. Yes. Uh huh. When do we use it? Eu. Yes, you. <laughs> yeah. If you don't, if you don't speak, I have, I will let you speak. Eu, your microphone is off. You have to try it on. Okay. Okay. It's very good. Activity mm -hmm. that you do in the past, and do you finish in this? Exactly. Very good, El. So simple past is for activity or an action that was started in the past and ended up in the past. Period. Okay. All right. Very good. Now, guys, we have um, two type of main verbs that we use in the past. We have the regular verbs, right? And we have the irregular verbs. Those are the big ones. Okay. All of the regular verbs, it will end in ed. Okay. When we write them, it will be, of course, there are, there are some verbs that already have the e at the end. So you're going to add just the d. Okay. In writing, but speaking is another thing because we have three categories or pronunciation, the regular verbs, okay? We're going to see it, don't worry. I'm just giving you like a general information. And for irregulars, well, we have to learn it by heart. Like in, in here in El Salvador, you have an expression, right? That I love, I love by heart. And you said, we have to learn it a guayaba, right? <laughs> I like it. That means you have to learn it or you have to learn it. You don't have options. Okay, so don't worry. It will be step by step. Oh my God, I remember like uh, New Kids on the Black Sun. Like, remember, step by step. Ooh, Ooh baby. baby. Uh huh. I don't, I'm not gonna do that like because I cannot. <laughs> so, okay, guys. So, this is the two uh, groups that we're gonna see. But also, there are like um, three main auxiliaries that we're gonna use in simple past. For example, the bird to be, okay? That's one of them. That's the classic one, all right? A, do you remember which are the past tense of the bird to be? Anybody? Only one, please, only one. Don't get too excited. Was one. and where? Uh, was, was and where, excellent. Okay, guys, for was, I use it for which pronouns? Which ones? He. He, uh -huh. she, it, she, it. Very mm -hmm. good. And, but you're missing one. One more. He, she, it. Perfect. I, I. Exactly. Exactly. So with the third person singular, he, she, it, and I. When you're talking about yourself. Excellent. What about where? Which, which pronouns? We, you, and they. We, you, and they. Very good. Remember, guys, that in English we have two yous. Mm -hmm. You singular and you plural. Okay? Excellent. Very good job. Very good. So we're good with word to be, right? Boris, Esmeralda, Kiri, Mr. Rhino, we're good? Yes? Yes. Okay, cool. Yes. Now, 
Very good. Now, Carrie, now that you have opened your mic your microphone, she said, <laughs> okay, Carrie, do you remember that <clears throat> the other auxiliary that we use is have, right? Or no, Carrie? Katie. Mm, it's have? Or? It's have. Very good. Exactly. What is the pass of, of have? Had. 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 Very good. Excellent. Remember, guys, that in present we have have for I, you, we, they, right? And has for he, she, it. But in past, no, we only have one. Had, you're going to use it for I, you, we, they, etc. With For all the pronouns. That is the second auxiliary. And the third auxiliary, it is the auxiliary do, right? Remember that in present we have do for I, we, you, they. But what about for he, she, it in present? What do we use? Das. Das, das exactly, very good. But a simple pass is just a simple pass. So for all the pronouns, we're gonna use did. That's it, did, okay? Yes. So we're gonna learn how we can construct questions in the past, how we can construct affirmative sentence and negative sentence. All those things we're going to learn, okay? So don't worry. This is about to warm up. Okay, guys, so let's do something. Um, I want you guys, because we already start talking. Yeah? Okay, so I want you guys to continue listening. I will play you a listening part. And basically, this is going to be two guys. Two guys talking about uh what they have done on the weekend okay and i want you guys to pay attention on the activities we're going to do something we're going to develop the listening part in a different way today okay first i'm gonna play the audio and you're just going to listen okay so what i'm gonna ask you for everybody and don't fall asleep is that when you were listening to the conversation, close your eyes. And then when we finish, you will be able to open your eyes. And please close your eyes. I'm asking you not to like, I teach her. No, it is a listening technique that you're putting in practice. Okay. So just allow me a couple of minutes. Let me search for that information. And when I'm ready, I will let you know. Let me check. Uh-huh. This is going to be good. Let me check. There you go. Okay. I know this is another one. There you go. So this has to be these one. Oh yeah, that's the one. Okay, cool. Okay, guys, I found what I was looking for. So now I'm gonna play the audio. Please close your eyes and try to uh, imagine that you are there with the people that they're talking, but you are just paying attention to what they're saying, okay? And then when they finish, we're going to come back and we're going to discuss about what they were talking about, okay? Just allow me a couple of minutes. Okay, there you go. Guys. Seven. We had a great time. Page 44, exercise two, conversation. Did you do anything special? Part A, listen and practice. So, what did you do last weekend, Meg? Oh, I had a great time. I went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends on Saturday. How fun! Did you go to Lucky's? No, we didn't. We went to that new place downtown. How about you? Did you go anywhere? No, I didn't go anywhere all weekend. I just stayed home and studied for today's Spanish test. Our test is today? I forgot about that. Don't worry. You always get an A. Okay, guys. So... Tell me something. Hopefully you have closed your eyes, okay? <laughs> okay, guys. Yes, I think Janet is still like, <sighs> just kidding. <laughs> okay, it's because she was frozen. Okay, so tell me, guys. They, they were talking about something special that they did, right, on the weekend. What was the, the special thing that the girl did? 
do ca do karaoke. Karaoke. Did... Okay. Karaoke. Karaoke. The karaoke. Okay, very good. All right. So she went to the karaoke karaoke bar. I think so, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. What happened with the guy? Did he also went out? No. 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 What happened to him? Yeah, in, in your in her house. He in his house. In house. But why? Because he had a study for the exam. exam. Exactly. For the Spanish test. For the Spanish test. And guess what? The Spanish test was today, right? And what happened? We make like, oh my God, oh my God. Like, oops. <laughs> I spent the whole night in the karaoke singing. Like, all right. Okay. I know. <laughs> it was really hard. Right? <laughs> well, but she always uh, ha got a, a, an A, right? So she doesn't have to worry about that. Okay. Very good. Now, guys, we are going to listen to um, the conversation once again. But now I'm going to um, share with you the dialogue. Okay. So what we're, we're going to do, hey, Janet, we're going to do a multitasking right now. Okay. okay. Why? What is multitasking? Because you are will be reading, but at the same time, you will be listening to Okay, so, so I want you guys to work the two skills. And I want you guys also to focus on how the guys pronunciate some words, because also that will help you with the pronunciation and the intonation of some words, okay? And then after that, eh, we are going to like, maybe we are going to make a role plays. That could be nice, right? <laughs> and it was not really. <laughs> All right, so let me share it, right, Boris? Let me share it right now. Okay, let me just a couple of minutes. Let me share uh, uh, the dialogue with you guys. Hmm. Hmm. All righty, there you go. Okay, you have the dialogue already, right? Yes, you did? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, cool. So now guys, I'm gonna play the audio one more time and please pay attention. I want you guys to pay attention on the different things because as you can see in the dialogue, we have punctuation, right? We have commas, we have question marks, we have, a, I don't know, there's an exclamation mark. No, there's not an exclamation mark. Oh, yes, it is. No, no, it's not. But also we have periods and commas, right? So I want you guys also to try to identify how they they pronounce. Because, guys, when you are reading, you don't have to read like robot, like, so what did you do last weekend? No. You got to put, like, feelings. Like, if you were that person talking, okay? So you have to like get into the character, yeah? Read is not just read for reading. Read is an art. And we need to develop that art, not only in Spanish, but also in English. Okay, so now let me play the audio for you. And please try to listen at the same time that you're reading. Unit seven, we had a great time. Page 44, Exercise 2, Conversation. Did you do anything special? Part A, Listen and Practice. So, what did you do last weekend, Meg? Oh, I had a great time. I went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends on Saturday. How fun! Did you go to Lucky's? No, we didn't. We went to that new place downtown. How about you? Did you go anywhere? No, I didn't go anywhere all weekend. I just stayed home and studied for today's Spanish test. Our test is today? I forgot about that. Don't worry. You always get an A. Okay. Guys, did you focus on the expressions and how they like exclamation, for example, or how they pronounce the intonation of the questions, right? And the answer, you see, for example, as she said, oh, I had a great time. And you stop for a little seconds. 
I went to a karaoke bar, you see? So you let's say, you, you don't read the whole thing like, blah, 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 blah. no, you have to make like stops, okay? You have to respect the punctuation rules, okay? So that is really important. Guys, before we move on, uh, do you have any expressions or any vocabulary that is new for you that you don't know what does it mean? If there, everything is clear, like water, we'll move on. Yeah? Clear? Yeah. Okay. Very good. Who wants to participate in? Okay, let's do it one more time. Let's do it the pronunciation together, okay? And then I'm going to pick some victims, sorry, some participants. <laughs> All right. So repeat after me. So. So. Uh -uh, again. So. 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 I'm not oh. listening, Carrie and Mr. Kevin. What's going on, guys? And Steffi. Okay, there you go. All right. What did you do last weekend, Meg? What did you do last weekend, Meg? What did you do last weekend, Meg? Very good. Oh, I had a great time. Oh, oh I, I had, had a great time. time. I, I went to a time. karaoke bar time. and sang with my I friends on Saturday. I, I went, went to a karaoke bar, bar, bar and sat some friends, friends on Saturday. Saturday. On Saturday. Yeah, very good. You see, Lloyd is like, <laughs> I know, I know. It's not easy. Okay. How fun. Did you How go long? lucky to Dockers? Did you go to How Lofi? fun? Did you go to How fun. Did you go to look? No, we didn't. No, no we, we didn't. didn't. No, we didn't. We went to the new place downtown. We, we went, went to the we went new place to the downtown. New place downtown. How about you? Did you How go to anywhere? You? Did you go Did you anywhere? You? anywhere? Did you go anywhere? No, I didn't go anywhere all weekend. No, no I, I didn't go, go anywhere, anywhere all weekend. weekend. Anywhere all weekend. I just stayed home and studied for today's Spanish test. I just, I just stay home, home and, and started today. for today's Spanish test. Very good. Our test is today? Our test is today. I forgot about that. I forgot about that. Don't worry. You always got an A. Don't worry. 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 You always get an A. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Hey. Very good. Okay. So you see, we're practicing. Very good, guys. Okay. So I'm going to pick one uh, volunteer. We can make like a role plays, right? Okay. But guys, try to like, uh, try to think like you are Meg, right? Okay. I'm going, uh, Jana is going to be Meg, one, the first Meg, because she loves to sing. Okay. And let me double check. Kevin, you're going to be Rick. So guys, okay. please. Try to like put emphasize, good intonation. Try to like, you already have that conversation with your classmate, right? With your friends and et cetera. So try to think like you are really close friends. Hmm? Okay, so <clears throat> all righty. What did you do last weekend as scenario number one? Action, go ahead, where is your story? Kevin, sorry. Kevin. Oh. Mm -hmm. So, what did you do last week, Meg? Uh huh, Janet. Oh, I had a great time. I went to a karaoke bar and sang with some some friends on Saturday. Mm -hmm. How fun! Did you go to Lockies? No, we didn't. We went to. At place downtown. Uh, How about you? Did you go anywhere? No, I didn't go anywhere all weekend. I just stay home and study for today's Spanish test. Our Spanish test is today? I forgot all about that. Don't worry, you always getting A. Wow, my goodness. Congratulations, my friends. Hey, oh, I think you are a really good actor and actress. Woohoo! Way to go. You see, <laughs> Stefan is happy. Very good, Kevin. Excellent. Good intonation. And also, Kevin, congratulations for the pronunciation of the 
past verbs for regular verbs, okay? I could detect okay, the thanks. ED for stay and the ED for study. And also today's Spanish test. I love when you pronounce the emphasis of the S. Very good job. Excellent. Oh my God, Kevin is rocking today. All right, second big team. Uh huh. Oh, no, second, no, sorry, second oh. pair of participants now. Okay, Mr. Reno, you're gonna be Rick. Yes, yes. sorry about that. And who's gonna be Meg? Okay, oh, you're gonna be Meg. Yeah, she was like, <laughs> okay. I know that, I know that. You knew it, right? Okay, that's good. You, we are in Sintony. All righty. So, okay, Mr. Randall, you start. Oh, what did you do uh, last weekend? Uh, scenario number two, action. Rano, Mr. Rano, you're supposed to start, guy. Hello. What happened with him? He disappeared. <laughs> he got like, where is him? Okay, maybe Boris, can you start? Yes, yes. Okay, no okay, problem. Boris. Now it's going to be your turn. I think Rana got disappeared or fall down. Okay. 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 Go ahead. So, what did you do last weekend, Meg? Oh, I had a great time. I went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends on Saturday. How fun. Did you go to Lucky's? No, we didn't. We went to that new place downtown. How about you? Did you go anywhere? No, I didn't go anywhere all weekend. I just started home and studied for today's Spanish test. Our test is today? I forgot about that. Don't worry, you always get an A. An A. <laughs> Very good. Excellent, guys. Very good. Just Mr. Boris, when you said, I just stayed, uh, 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 that one stayed. And you said, I study for, I want that, that you mentioned the whole thing without stopping. So you said, okay. I just stayed home and studied for today's Spanish class. Can you say it, please? I just stayed home and studied for today's Spanish test. Very good. Very good. I know. I knew you can do it. Excellent. Very good. Thank Give you. it all five, my you. friend. Excellent. Oh, thank you. Woohoo. You're awesome. You're rocking today, guys. Oof. Uh, the, another big team, Steffi. Would you like to participate in? Huh? Yeah. Okay, Steffi, you're gonna be Meg. And Katie, would you like to be Rick? I'm sorry, yeah. but I don't have guys. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all righty. So, okay, what did you do last weekend? And scenario number three, action. Go ahead, guys. Katie? So, what did you do last week, Meg? Weekend, Meg. I went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends on Saturday. How fun! Did you do go look it? No, we didn't. We went to that new place downtown. How about you? Did you go anywhere? No, I didn't go anywhere all weekend. I just stayed home and studied for today's Spanish test. test. Our our test is today? I forgot about that. Don't worry, you always get an A. Very good, excellent, very good. Just scary and the question, how fun did you go to Lucky's? That's that's little part, but that's good guys. Excellent, yeah. Woo -hoo. you rock. Ruano, where, where are you? <laughs> I am here at the chat. Uh, no, you were not there because when I asked <laughs> you, I thought, oh my God, he had a heart attack or something like that. So now that you speak, it's going to be your turn, my man. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky you. All right. Yes. So you're going to be, at, as always, Rick. And Loida, you're going to be Meg. Yeah. Okay. So what did you do last weekend? A scenario number four. Action. Go ahead. You start, so, Rano. What did you Go ahead, go ahead. Okay, so what did you do last weekend, Matt? Oh, I had a great time. I went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends on Saturday. How fun. Did you go to Lucky? No, we didn't. We went to that new place downtown. How about you? 
No, I didn't Did go, go anywhere all weekends. I just stay at home and study for today's Spanish test. Our test is today? I forgot about that. Don't worry, you always get an A. Yay, very good. Excellent, my friends. You're rocking, wow, awesome. You see, Stephanie, yes. Bravo. All right. And our last victim, sorry, our last participants for today <laughs> is going to be Jenny <laughs> and Anita Romero. Anita, are you there? Anita. Yes, yes right? Yes. Okay, Anita. <laughs> so you're going to be Rick. Sorry, Anita, but I don't have boys. So, okay. And Jenny, of course, you're going to be Meg. Okay. All okay. right. What do you do last weekend as an area number five? Oops, action. So what did you do last weekend, Meg? Oh, I had a great time. I went to a karaoke band, bar and sang with some friends on Saturday. How fun. Did you go to Lucky's? No, we, did, we didn't. We uh, went to that new place downtown. How about you? Did you uh, anywhere? Anyone? No, no, I didn't. I didn't go anywhere all weekend. I just stayed home and studied for today's Spanish test. Our test is today. I forgot about that. Don't worry. You always get an an A. Very good. Excellent. Good job, girls. Oh my goodness, you're rocking today. You see. You, everybody's like, yay, way to go. And you, all of you guys, you broke my heart today. Excellent. Great job, guys. Great job for the pronunciation and great job for the intonation. Very good, guys. Hey, do me a favor. Take a look. Because on that sentence, on that dialogue, could you guys identify that we are using two type of questions? Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh -huh. For example, the first one, what did you do last weekend? What type of question is that? Uh -huh. What did you do last weekend? It's a just no question. It's a dollish question, guys. Double H question. Exactly, because we have what, right? So remember, with WH questions, those are called information questions. I'm asking something because I want to get more information. That a simple yes and a simple no. Take a look at the structure. So when we're using WH question, uh, talking about past, the first thing that you will put is a WH question. What, where, when, whatever. And after that, do you see, guys, that we have the auxiliary there? Which is auxiliary that we have there? Did. 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 Exactly, did. Because remember, the past of do is did, right? And we're talking about simple past, we gotta use did. did. But, and then guys, if you look on the question, after the auxiliary in the past, what we have? Uh-huh. Is It is you, right? You. you. Uh-huh. But you is what? Is an adjective, is an adverb, it's a noun. What is it's it? It's a noun. It's a noun. Exactly. It's a noun. So, guys, I'm, I'm asking you that because I want you to take a look how you can construct the sentence. Or in this case, how you how you construct the questions. Okay, guys. So, let's repeat right now. So, we have WH question. We have the auxiliary did. Auxiliary. And then we have the noun. The Great. Noun. Now, if you take a look, guys, we have do. Right? And you said, teacher, do. why do? We're not talking about past. Yes, but do is the main verb, okay? It could be, I know it's an auxiliary, but in this time, this question is making the function of a main verb. So it could be any verb, guys, yeah, anywhere, okay? In but present. In, exactly, very good, Loida, very good point. Why is it present and it's not in past if I'm talking about simple past? Because of the auxiliary. Exactly. Because we are using uh, uh huh. Because we are using blah, 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 blah. 
Yes. Because the auxiliary. Exactly. When you use the auxiliary, in this case, as a question, in a question, it automatically transforms the question in the past. So if you're going to use a second verb after the subject, it's got to be in the present. Okay. I, I cannot say, what did you did last weekend? I cannot say that. That is wrong, grammatically wrong. I got to say, what did you do last week, right? Excellent. Very good. That is the first question. And, hey, and now do me a favor. Take a look at the answer. Oh, I had a great time. I went to karaoke bar and sang with some friend on Saturdays. Hey, guys, the first uh, verb there, had. The second verb, went. The third verb, sang. All of them are in past or in present? Past. Yes, exactly. So when you uh, answer, you're not going to use a, the auxiliary did. did. To answer. No, mm -hmm. you need to use, it depends on your answer, you're going to use the verbs and the verbs are going to be in the past. Mm -hmm. Okay, so in this case, guys, had, went, and sang. All of them are the verbs. The, the past of had, no, the present of had is have. The, the present of went, go. Go. In the present of sang, sing. Sing. All right. No, sing. 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 Because if you say sink, that is like an ink. That is sing. another thing. I'm sorry, sing with the good. Mm -hmm. Yes, very good. So, guys, when you answer, all the verbs are in the past. May I ask you, these three verbs, had, sing, and went, are those regular or irregular? Irregular. 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 Exactly. All of them. So that means that you need to know which ones are irregular, which ones are irregular. Okay, very good. Mm -hmm. Now, guys, take a look at the second type of questions in the dialogue. You say, how fun. Did you go to Lockheed's? Okay, now, guys. What type of question is this? Did you get yes, to like no this? question. Very good. Yes, no question. And when I use a just no question, the pass of do is did. But do you notice that I put it at the beginning of the question? Mm -hmm. Then I have the subject, in this case is you. And then I have, you see, another verb, go. Did you go to Lucky's? I, I, can I say, did you went to Lucky's? No. No. Why not? Because, because of the auxiliary. auxiliary. Exactly. Exactly. So did you cut Lucky's? Okay. You know, that kind of question is a just no question. Is that right? Yes. Why? Yeah. Yes. Because take a look at the answer, at the immediate answer of the question. Uh, when Meg says, no, we didn't. You see? Uh, mm -hmm. I ask you, did you cut Lucky's? You said, no, we didn't. That is that. Is that direct question direct. answer of my question no yeah. comma we didn't period okay okay so if if i ask you you have guys the choice to live it that way did you go to locus no we didn't period okay you already answered my question but if you want to give me an extra information take a look or the idea that it goes that continues we went to the new place downtown. Okay, you are giving me extra information. Okay, if you're giving me extra information after the did or the didn't, depends on your answer, right? You will give me uh, information that the bird you gotta put it in pass. Okay, because went is a pass of go. Okay, and then they will ask you the two questions How about you? Did you go anywhere? Okay. So you see, guys, how it works? Yes? Excellent. So this is the two type of questions. We have just given like, um, like a general right now, general brief, okay? On Monday, we're going to deeply study that. And you will see that it's easy, easy, easy. Don't complicate your life. But guys, I'm going to send you uh, after, the mo after the Monday's class, I'm gonna send you a link that will help you to uh, learn how to pronounce the regular verbs correctly. Because as I said, we have three categories. All of them are ends in ed, but not all of them pronounce the same. 
So we need to like try to like continue like all right. <clears throat> Don't worry, it's part of the process. Hey, and now guys, this is going to be your homework. Hi, teacher. Yes. Yes. Okay, of course I'm gonna send you a son, okay? A son. Uh, but your homework, guys, will be that you have to tell us on Monday. What do you do on the weekend? Uh -huh. What do you do? You can tell us okay. from Friday. Friday, Friday I did this, Saturday I did this, and Sunday. That would be nice. But I don't, I don't need the whole soap opera, okay? <laughs> okay, just, just pick one dialogue, one small paragraph, okay? You can pick what do you do on Saturday, on um, Sunday, or on Friday. You can pick any anything that you, that you did, okay? Anything. But that is the first thing that you have to let me know. So uh, on Monday, the first thing that we're going to do, I'm going to ask, hey, how was your weekend? That would be my question. Hey, how was your weekend, guy? How was your weekend, Janet? Boris, Juano, Anita, Kiri, how was your weekend? Jenny. And you said, hey, it was fine. Thank you. <laughs> no way. <laughs> no. Uh, so, okay, yes. That is the answer for my question, right? How was your weekend? It was fine. Now I'm going to ask you an uh, information question. Hey, what did you do? Uh, then you have to ask, give me the information, right? Okay. So how was your weekend and what did you do? Okay. Okay, guys. Okay. Any questions? Any doubts? So far, the good? <laughs> Way to go, right? We're like, she's like, mm. <laughs> all right, yeah, okay, guys. It was nice to have you on Friday. I know it's really hard to be on Friday, right? But I'm so happy to see you guys. Way to go! Uh, I'm about to send you the um, the the song in a couple of minutes. Yeah. Ah, in okay. the picture. Yes, in the picture. And chestnut and and saucy. Oh my. Yeah. Allow me one moment. I will I will make like a screenshot right now and I will send it to you how sassy is right now, okay? And may I pull that guys? Allow me just a couple of minutes. Oh my god. Yes, Rano, you cannot imagine. Sassy is like my goodness. You know what? I envy cat's life. <laughs> I envy too. Yeah, oh my. I am too. Oh my goodness. Sassy. I wish I could be like sassy. But I can't. I'm about to send it to you. So just allow me one moment, guys. Wow, that's perfect. That's perfect for her. Okay. Okay. I'm I'm just sending it to you. Did you receive it? What a life, right? What a life. Wow. And, and, can, you, and can you see the big belly? She's, the big belly? She's like shiny, right? Oh my God. And she's stretching out like that. And she's like, oh, like that. No way. So she's right. beautiful. Yeah. Now I'm going to send it to you, Mr. Chestnut and Sassy's uh, friendship. Okay, there you go. <laughs> wow. <laughs> they are pretty close. They are pretty close. Can you imagine? Uh, okay, that so is Mr. Cute. Chestnut. But I will share with you Mr. Chestnut. Uh, <laughs> I will share with you Mr. Chestnut face because um, he is really, uh, how can I say it? He's so handsome. Okay, I will send it to you. First is gonna be Mr. Whiskey. That is just oh. that is chestnut's dad. Oh. And that is the oh. terrier with a schnauzer. That is whiskey. And then I will share with you Mr. Chestnut. Okay, so allow me just a couple of minutes. If I don't do that right now, guys, I will forget. So I'm gonna do it right now before I forget. Where is just oh my goodness. I have a lot of pictures for Chesna and now I cannot find it. Come on. There you go. Oh, yes. <laughs> Take a look at this beautiful face that you cannot say no to him. Oh, so cute. And Nelson, oh my 
is beautiful. <laughs> yes, you, right? Do you like that pretty face? I said, hey, oh my God, you can't, you cannot resist that face, right? <laughs> yeah. And it looks like, oh. He looks like Chewbacca. What is Chewbacca? He looks like Chewbacca. What is that? Chewbacca Sorry. is from the, the Star Wars. Oh, Star yes. Wars. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, yes, my husband used to call him like that, but it's not Chewbacca <laughs> what he called. He called something else. I don't know. I I'm going to double check on my mind and then I will let you know. So those are my babies, guys. Now you, you know them. You know, Whiskey, Chestnut, and Sassy. <laughs> and Sassy is still falling asleep with a big belly. Okay, Thank guys. you for sharing with us. Thank you. It's time to say goodbye. Have a hugs and kisses. Thank you. Have a great weekend, guys. Hey, bye-bye.